Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 35th anniversary of the Blue Tip Parade and Festival. And here I am with Nancy Likens. Hey, Joe. <laughs> nice to meet you. Officially on camera. My pleasure to start here. And you can always tell that the parade is beginning because here comes the Wadsworth VFW Post 1089. The Guard or tradition of Wadsworth Blue Tip Parade. They have led the parade forever. Their appearance always signifies the beginning of another great blue tip parade. And right behind them is the Civil Air Patrol. Um, Captain James Woodard is a squadron commander of the Medina County Skyhawks Composite Squadron, Ohio 219. There are 12 senior members and 23 cadets. They meet at Sky Park every Sunday. Their three missions are aerospace, education, cadet programs, and emergency services. And here comes the Wadsworth High School Marching Band. The Wadsworth High School Marching Band under the direction of Stephen Hedges and Mike Foster and is led by drum major Marla Moltz. The band performs throughout Ohio and has won many awards, including the superior rating at the state finals last year. And believe me, the high school is very, very fond and very proud of our Wadsworth Marching Grizzlies. The band will perform in the Cleveland, at Cleveland, at the Severance Hall in January. We're looking forward to that. Let's take a few minutes to listen to the Wadsworth Marching Grizzly Band. Let's do that, Joe. Sounds like they're in fine form this year and coming up right behind them are our Wadsworth High School cheerleaders. This year we have the 2005-2006 freshman, junior varsity, and varsity cheerleaders. Peppy as always. And right behind them is the Grand Marshal. This year's Grand Marshal is Tom Hudson, owner of the Holmesbrook Lumber and Ace Hardware. Tom is involved in many community endeavors, including being a member of the Wadsworth Rotary Club. Vice chairman of the Salvation Army Advisory Board, Main Street, Wadsworth, Ohio, of course, <laughs> Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce, and the Trinity United Church of uh, Christ. Also, he's a former member of the Wadsworth Ritman Hospital Board and many other community organizations. We salute Tom for his selflessness, service to Wadsworth and all of his residents. And what's coming up next? The first float, that is the Grand Marshal float. And accompanying Tom on the Grand Marshal float are members of the Wadsworth Rotary Club. The Rotary International is celebrating 100 years of service above self. The Wadsworth Rotary is proud to be the organizer of the Wadsworth Blue Tip Festival Parade, as well as an organization which provides valuable service to the Wadsworth community. Kudos to the Rotary, Joe. And next, coming up, oh, I love these Jeeps. These old trucks are great. The Disabled American Veterans Chapter Number 72, Medina County Unit. They are a nationally chartered veterans organization. Thank you, fellas, for your service. That's a terrific organization. Good point, Nancy. Absolutely. Very good. Coming up behind them is who, Nancy? We have our own Mayor James Renacy, Mayor of the fine city of Wadsworth. Riding with him is his wife, Tina. Jim and Tina are riding a 2004 sporty Mustang convertible furnished and driven by Wadsworth Ford owner Rodney James. Ray, Mayor Renacy would like to thank all of the residents of Wadsworth for their continued support. And I believe right now we're probably getting ready for, we have a little bit of a space here, and we're getting ready for the Marine Corps League up and coming. Well, the weather here is beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> Last year, I think it rained a little bit, and uh, this year it's a great time for, for the parade. We and it's a great time for the festival. We and could not have picked a better no. evening for a parade. That's and while we sure. have the time, we'd like to welcome everybody again, and hopefully everybody will come to the uh, to the fe festival. Yes, it should be a nice week for the festival. Um, everybody come on down. Lots of food, good food, good fun, fun for the kids and the whole family. So don't let the week slip by without enjoying the Blue Tip Festival. It only comes around once a year, so enjoy. And here comes the Medina County Detachment of the 569th Marine Corps League. They continue their proud heritage as in the Marine, U.S. Marines. Some young ones there too with the color guard. Yes, aspiring Marines, I would say. 
And the crowd is giving them a big hand. And coming up is also another float. That's a VFW. Post 1089. Wadsworth welcomes you. VFW Post 1089. And behind them is the American Legion Post 170. Uh, it's an all-American truck with paintings of the Statue of Liberty, the Vietnam War, or the Vietnam Wall, excuse me, uh, the POWs, the fallen soldiers, and the National Cemetery. The Twin Towers under attack in all its splendor. It reminds us freedom is not free. Is that coming up, I think? That is coming up. We're actually looking, we're a little bit ahead of ourselves here, Joe. Oh, these are still the veterans. Yeah. Post 1089. It's a, it's a big unit. And we want to salute them, too, for Thanks all they've done guys. for us. A lot of familiar faces to all those from Wadsworth. Yes, indeed. They've been coming to the parade for many, many years, have they not? Mm -hmm. Check out this sporty car vehicle in front of us. That is one patriotic looking vehicle. Well, that's what I was talking about with the uh, the Twin Towers. If that's you can get a it. shot of that. Yeah. There's a reenactment of right. just about everything. everything important in our country. Right. Every event in American history. Yes. Well, not every, but <laughs> certainly a lot of them. Yeah. It's a beautiful that's truck. That's a quite a work of art and adorned with lots of flags and just a beautiful vehicle. And if you get a, if they get a shot of it, there's a sign on the side of it that says, remember how you felt that day. And I think everybody remembers where they were on that, that yes, day. Yes, we will never forget that one for sure, Joe. We have a couple of more vehicles that are associated with the Unit 170. Another sporty looking truck, lots of yellow ribbons on that one. Here comes the Ohio Military Reserve, 52nd MP Battalion, uh, the Ma Major Chris Hills commanding. The Ohio Military Reserve is a reserve security force trained to back up local law enforcement and emergency agencies in Ohio and is a totally volunteer force of men and women that want to serve their country, state, and local community. The group wants more enlistments. That's important. We've got a great <laughs> shot of some of our men in military right now, have we not? I think I recognize him. Do you know this fine-looking <laughs> young man? I'm, I think so. It's hard to tell with the sunglasses, but the way he's posing and everything, I don't want to say who I think it is. Well, he looks very <laughs> official and important, whoever he is. He's a yeah. fine representative of our country, that's for sure. <laughs> little, good little break in action and an opportunity to hop out of that truck and come say hello to all the fans watching on WCTV. It's going to be a great parade. We've got a line of cars right behind the truck, which are about ready to come up. I have a sneaking suspicion we're light, still lighting the match right now, Joe. That's probably what's going on. Yes. That's a good point. And someone has told us before we started filming that uh, Joe Gaborsik, who is the host of Polka Time right here on WCTV, his daughter, I guess, is doing a film documentary of the Blue Tip Festival. So that'll be and interesting. Th and if I'm not mistaken, they're all the way from New York City? Yes, she studied film in New York City, has graduated, and now is testing her craft. And maybe we'll see the Blue Tip Festival on A&E or Bravo one yeah. fine day. I would not be surprised. I would not either. Joe, Never I just, know. I'm hoping that I'm not part of that. <laughs> <laughs> well. This is my rookie time out, so I have to thank Joe for helping me along here. And I think it's about my third year of doing uh, the parade itself, but I've been coming to Wadsworth Parade since I, I moved here in 1973, and uh, I think everybody looks forward to the Blue Tip Festival and to the parade itself. Oh, I think so, and it's not really just for kids. As du the director of the Senior Center, I can tell you a lot of our seniors really enjoy oh, the parade as well. Point. And um, But look at all the kids here. I think oh. that's what really makes people 
you know really proud of wodsworth it's still a young community in many ways still growing you know i know at the high school where i teach there's a lot of new students coming in this this town is not taking a second seat anymore or backseat to a lot of other towns in medina county it's growing and i think it's a community that people stay in once you get a taste of wodsworth you want to stay here and many of the graduates come back too they do they might leave for a while but it's a great place to raise we're talking to andy mcelvain sure sure i thought i had flunked him but well he rebounded pretty quick because he he's he's an attorney now in a law firm and that's great well after the big truck up comes some beautiful ladies representing the miss wadsworth pageant and i believe first up we have tiny miss wadsworth 2004 that's josie knapp hi josie looking lovely and a beautiful red car coming up in another red Mustang is Little Miss Wadsworth 2004. Alyssa Schwab. Nice job, young lady. And right behind Alyssa is junior teen Miss Wadsworth 2004, Ashley Smith. And here comes Team Miss Wadsworth 2004, Andy Griddle. And last but not least is Miss Wadsworth 2004, Melissa Cheney. Lovely job, ladies. Let's see if we can get Melissa to, to wave to us. There she there goes. There she goes. Hi, <laughs> Melissa. And here comes a big red truck. It's the Wadsworth Chamber of Commer Commerce float. It's sponsored by the Huntington National Bank and is representing Huntington National Bank is Dwight Weaver. Riding on the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce float are the 2005 Rosie Award winners. Outstanding Business Leader of the Year, Rodney James, Wadsworth Ford. Outstanding Business of the Year, uh, Bueller's Market. Outstanding Commerce Construction, Improvement or uh, Restoration, Katie Corner, uh, Ebner Furnaces, and Walmart. And the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce is the network headquarters of Wadsworth. And zipping right in front of us now is one of our great favorites, Peter Rademacher. Welcome Pete Rademacher on his rad cycle. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that really is. We'll have to ask him if you can hop a ride sometime, Joe. One. I'd love to see you do that. Oh, that's <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> That is kind of a neat vehicle, isn't it? Here comes uh, Judge McIlvain, Judge Stephen McIlvain, okay, uh, of the Wadsworth Municipal Court. Judge McIlvain has been a judge for nine years and is running for re-election this year. Joining a judge in their retain McIlvain for judge shirts are friends, family, and supporters. And the truck before them was a hospice in Medina County. Sorry to let that get by me. But I saw the McIlvain sign, thought yes. I would get him in there. He's got quite an entourage. We're glad to see hospice here from Medina County, but here's Judge McIlvain and lots of friends and followers and a bunch of candy, Joe. Uh, if they see me, they'll <laughs> throw it right at me. Yeah, Uh-oh, you know we got a duck here duck. for just a quick <laughs> second. <laughs> oh, and coming up right behind wall. him is the Medina County Health Department saying public health works for you. And yes, indeed it does. Public health does a lot of great things immunizations, flu shot clinics, all kinds of great work to keep the community healthy. Beautiful dog. Mm -hmm. With a Batman outfit mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And right behind them is the American Red Cross of Wadsworth. Twyla is the emergency response vehicle used by the American Red Cross of Wadsworth to respond to disasters such as house fires, flowers, house fires, blizzards, and all those terrible disasters. And thankful that we do have the American Red Cross yes, always sir. at our need. And what's coming up here next? The another float, the Ambassador Baptist Church. And the Ambassador Baptist Church is having vacation Bible school this week for children and youth. You simply call them at 330-336-3221 for a ride or for more information. Well, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? It's a great float. That's a great idea. 
Oh, the kids kid. look like they're having a ball in there, yeah. too. Look at the caboose. Wait till you see it. <laughs> God bless America. God bless America and the caboose and the Statue of Liberty. Next is the Imperial Cadets Baton Corps. Uh, they feature twirlers are, the feature twir twirlers are shared Hindu and Caitlin Zarella. The director is Donna Jean uh, Smith of Orville. The girls are from Orville, Worcester, Apple Creek, and Smithville. A lot of different age groups in that group too. Yes, indeed, from the young all oh. the way up. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I can say this with pretty reliable source, it's the first time for some of these young girls yes, to be at the parade. And they look very nice and they're doing a great job. And coming up, behind our twirlers, one of our great community leaders, an Alter Care of Wadsworth. Alter Care has a newly renovated therapy center and newly renovated facility. It's home for many a senior on the pathway to go home from the facility. And who's that on the front of the truck there, Nancy? I, I don't that is that. Elvis Presley wow. on the truck. And <laughs> I, I think their theme is Alter Care, your best bet. And yes, they are. We live well, laugh often, and love much at Ultra Care of Wadsworth. Next, let's welcome to our parade the Akron Beacon Journal. Certainly part of our community, not just of the Akron area, but Wadsworth and the community around it. They keep us up to date with what's going on all over the area and the world. Yep. And, and the thing, too, is we don't realize it's only a quarter for a, a newspaper. That's not a bad deal. No. And coming up, another great float from Realty One, Real Living. They mark 21 years as parade participants. The office has over 30 employees and is headed up by manager Kathy Watson. They have prepared the downtown gazebo, offering refreshments and seating to local nursing home residents and seniors. They are experts at buying and selling homes. Yes, indeed. And it's they offer <laughs> one shop stopping with mortgages, titles, relocation, and home warranty services. And this is a beautiful float, it's full of red flowers, and they're very color coordinated. Very are Wadsworth they not? coordinated, yes, red they and white. Are. Beautiful job, Realty One. I wonder how much, it'd be nice to find out how much time it takes to put a float like that together. That takes a lot of work, a lot of time, and, and certainly a, a lot of care uh, by those people that do that. Oh, definitely. The planning and the execution, a lot of work involved, many volunteer hours, and it's great to be part of the parade. I think their efforts have paid off. That was a beautiful, beautiful float. Coming up, here comes the Wadsworth Rittman Health System. The health system is our community hospital. They have a new name and a new logo, but provide the same caring service and advanced technology that we've all come to expect. Walking in a parade is the new CEO, Jim Pope, and several members of the hospital's administrative team and the hospital's auxiliary volunteers. The bus is used to take the hospital's rehabilitation center patients on outgoing to on, on outgoing to prepare them to return to independent living and also for transportation to the hospital. Coming soon, a new image, Wadsworth Rittman Hospital. Terrific. And coming up right behind them is Magnolia Healthcare. Magnolia Care and Rehabilitation Center has been Wadsworth's leading provider of skilled nursing care for over 25 years. They specialize in returning residents to their highest level of functioning in the shortest period of time. The therapy couples the latest therapy equipment and techniques to create a plan of care that enhances the lifestyle for their residents. Sterling Oaks and Gold Leaf are next. Sterling Oaks is a skilled nursing and assistant living facility uh, offering adults daycare and respite stay located at 540 Great Oaks Trail in Wadsworth. And we salute the residents of Sterling Oaks. Pretty snazzy vehicle they are riding in. Looks like oh, they're I riding in style. I have a feeling they decorated it too. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. It's kind of got a Mexican fiesta theme. And 
and Joe. Coming up next, we have our friends from Hospice of Wadsworth Ritman. They are proud to serve as your local community hospice. Our mission at Hospice is to provide support and comfort to those dying with terminal illness. Hospice is also the community's resource for grief and bereavement support, education, as well as student support and volunteer opportunities. We thank you for your faith, commitment, and pursuit of quality of life. Life matters, and they have two harpists on the float. Lots of flowers, just beautiful. And as we see the flags, we know that where there's flags, there's usually Girl Scouts. And these are the Girl Scouts representing Western Reserve. And they're throwing candy. And we do appreciate getting the candy. Yes, we do, <laughs> Joe. We'll, we'll accept any candy thrown our way. Well, <laughs> not thrown at us, but thrown our <laughs> All way. All right, tossed our way, gently yeah. tossed our way. And here's the Girl Scouts. Looking snappy, as mm -hmm. always. The Girl Scouts sing. Was I was a Girl Scout, Joe. Were you? Yes, I was. Good. <laughs> I was a cub. It was I a lot of boys, fun. Boy Scouts. Camp was a lot of fun. I know these girls are looking forward to some camping opportunities and selling those cookies. Keep well, those cookies coming. <laughs> that I look forward to all the time. And if you wonder why people are yelling, hey, Charlie, Charlie Ackerman sitting about five feet away from us. And when he's awake, he's waving to the people. I think he knows everyone <laughs> in Wadsworth. We're, we're going to have some tough competition here, Joe. It's Charlie is uh, Mr. Wadsworth. Girl Scouts does a lot. It, it teaches also about leadership and responsibility. Yes, it does. And I'm sure it's a lot of fun, too. They work hard on those badges, Joe. Those well, badges each imagine. mean something very important and represents a lot of hard work and effort. We see a lot of faces in the crowd. The kids are enjoying their candy. I think there's some bartering going on over there, too. Good catch. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up is the visiting nurse. This is a home medical equipment company that has served Wadsworth and the greater Akron community for 21 years. They provide home oxygen services, beds, wheelchairs, bathroom equipment, and other items to meet all of your needs. The driver is Gary Price, and walkers are Jill Ward, Vicki Cottrell, and Holly Eccles. Wadsworth Recreation Department Steiner Youth Center invites all kids to join in the fun at Franklin School Summer Playground Program. The playground is open Monday through Friday from 12.30 to 5 p.m. until Friday, August the 5th. A wide variety of fun games and activities are offered each day free of charge. And to keep you fit, Wadsworth Youth Wrestling is next. Todd Boffman is a coach and the group has placed in the top five in Ohio Youth States for wrestling in the last three years. Congratulations, Wadsworth Youth Wrestling. And I'm sure Coach Camuglia is looking over these young men for the future of Wadsworth High School Wrestling. Yes, indeed. Wrestling is a great sport to stay in shape, get in shape, get strong. <laughs> you weren't a wrestler too. No, I, I, just, I, I did wrestling <laughs> stats though. I threw in the towel for wrestling back in the days before we had everything electronically buzzed. <laughs> so I'm, I'm dating myself here, Joe. I actually was a towel thrower for <laughs> wrestling. It also gave us an opportunity to check out all the wrestlers. That was kind of fun well, too. Was Wasworth High School is a great wrestling program. And I shouldn't say just the high school, but uh, the school system does. And I'm sure that uh, the city is very involved in that. And uh, there's one of our great wrestlers of all time, Charlie Ackerman, <laughs> <laughs> commonly known as the Bruiser back in the, the early 60s. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I will need a lawyer for that lawsuit <laughs> that's coming up. <laughs> oh, there's a Bruiser. Talking about a Bruiser, there's a lot of young babies here, young children yes and that's indeed. great to see all the young faces great shot of our crowd a big crowd as always for the blue tip parade people seem to come out from all over the city to enjoy the parade and it's a perfect night for it that's for sure we're waiting here for we've got a little bit of a law going on here 
a little back up. We're getting, as yeah. I said, a good shot of the crowd. And we would like to take just a moment and thank those people that put the parade together. I don't think we realize how much time, effort, uh, and all the work that goes into it. Uh, they probably start work on, on next year's parade probably tomorrow. Oh, well, I bet they do. Um, and they should be very proud of, of everything that they do. And this is a long parade and a big parade. Yes, indeed. It goes quite from the high school all the way down to Aishan. Yes. Quite a long parade route and quite a bit to organize and pu pull together. So thank you, organizers, for your hard work and effort. It's really paying off. And here comes the Jammin' Jumpers. The Jammin' Jumpers have been jumping for seven years. They've got to be tired. <laughs> they jump for fun, performance, and, co and competition. They have traveled to New York, Michigan, Indiana, and Maryland. The sport of jump rope has developed into a competitive sport worldwide. Let's hear it for the Jammin' Jumpers Jump for Life. And we are hearing it great. <laughs> yes, we are. Here they go. You know, it was once thought of as, as a, a game for girls or just a little bit of a sport for girls. Just think of all the boxers, all the athletes that learn to jump rope. And jump rope, jumping rope does keep people in shape. Yes, indeed. And these kids does. will really benefit from this in the long run. And it really pays off when you look good doing it, too. And these fine young folks really look good. They are completely color coordinated from jump ropes head to toe. Red, white, and blue. Yes, indeed. And it's also a good time to have a water break. Long parade route, time to get a quick drink of water. And <laughs> I think it's great for the parents. <laughs> they volunteer, and the kids might be jumping rope, but the parents are making sure all the well kids are taken care of. It's not real hot, but I bet you if you're out there under that sun and having to go all the way from the high school to Aishan, it probably gets very, very warm pretty quick. I'll bet it does. We have a couple of more segments of the Jam and Jumpers. I think we have um, uh, another display coming up here in a little bit after the van passes on by. I hope we get to see part of this. It's going to be a real treat. That's a great addition to, to Blue Tip Parade, the Jam and Jumpers. Yes. It's kind of fun to watch. And here's more. These are the big jump ropes, the really big jump ropes. Come on, Charlie, you and me. <laughs> what do you think? Can we do it? <laughs> the wise one said he thought not. He thinks not. Not <laughs> even for candy, Charlie? <laughs> not even for candy. Doggone it. And the jam and jumpers are, ju are twirling the giant rope now. There they go. Oh, that's fun. And that's not easy. That is definitely not <laughs> that is easy. not easy. It takes a lot of skill and coordination. And youth, I think, helps a well, little bit, but too. But, you know, a lot has to go to all those directors and coaches and parents that probably put a lot of time and, and help and guidance in doing this. Absolutely. Can't do it without the parents. That's spectacular, Joe. That's terrific, isn't it? Yeah. Very well done. Perfectly orchestrated. And next up on the parade route is National City Bank. Although they are new on the block, National City has been banking for over 100 years. Stop in to see branch manager Debbie Reeves for a new check or savings account and Joe Shea for all of your home mortgage needs. And right behind them is the Trading Post. Wadsworth, our hometown newspaper, delivered to over 44,000 homes. Well, that's a little bit of trivia I didn't know. Well, 44,000 homes. I read the script. Homes. That's what it says here. I'm impressed, Joe. <laughs> well, I know Wadsworth doesn't have 44,000 people, so it must go around pretty wide. Oh, and oh, we're getting we have candy. a gift. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. And up next is a float from Trinity United Church of Christ. Located at 215 High Street in Wadsworth. They're using a large comma to remind us to listen because God is still speaking. 
as Gracie Allen said, never place a period where God has placed a comma. Though our faith is over 2,000 years old, our thinking is not, because we are open to new ideas from our still-speaking God. We are thrilled today to present our new pastor, Reverend Daniel Doty. Summer services are at 9.30 a.m., and remember, our Sundays are better than Baskin Robbins. Did Gracie really <laughs> say that? <laughs> I, I guess she did. Burns and Allen. Big group. And coming up next is Breakpoint. It's an after-school club for 5th through 8th graders here in Wadsworth. The club provides indoor and outdoor recreation, computers, tutoring, video games, and community service, and various other fun activities. They are now taking registrations for the fall. Breakpoint, Wadsworth After School. And right up behind them is Bank One. Our Bank One is located at 750 High Street. Premier Financial Services are provided with a hometown touch. Stop by and visit. They would love to make your dreams come true. And there's Digit, the Bank One. One. The bank won one. <laughs> <laughs> the big number one. There he is. Now he can actually say he's number one. Yes, he can. <laughs> Slowly but surely, here comes, Shirley's not coming, no. but here <laughs> comes Wadsworth Youth Football and Cheerleading. The director is Dave Snowball of the Browns team, director Jeff Maurer of the Redskins team, and the president of the Booster Club is Kelly Perry. Now that's a fine looking group of young folks here. Well, like I said earlier, our athletic programs in the high school are excellent, and they're excellent because we have such good uh, programs, youth football, uh, cheerleading and so on from not only the grade schools but summer activities and other activities that go on here. Oh, licorice, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Washworth Youth Football is scoring points by hand oh, delivering gee. candy <laughs> to Joe and I. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Oh, Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Forget Tootsie this. Rolls. Joe, <laughs> stick with the script. Coming oh. right up, <laughs> back to the parade. Coming up is the Grizzly Club. No preschool in Wadsworth gets future Little Grizzlies ready like the Grizzly Club Preschool. Entering its 10th successful year of operation, the Grizzly Club is located right downtown in Wadsworth for your convenience. It's a really neat sign. It is. All the Little Grizzlies get their start. Wave. <laughs> all the smiles. Certainly. Oh, there's a real young one there. Grizzly Club. And a great float to boot, complete with balloons and a little barn and more Grizzly young ones. And there's Coach Dennison of the Wadsworth High School football team. And here's a limo. This is from the Autumnwood Nursing for Nursing and Rehabilitation Services. That's a limo. Now, that is a limo. <laughs> That's a stretch limo. Beautiful. I think there's a resident or two in there peeking out. They're there riding they in are. style yeah, tonight, aren't them. they? Yes. <laughs> and coming up is Boy Scout Troop number 402 and Cub Scouts, Scouts Pack 3402 from the United Methodist Church. Steve Gallo is the troop master, Andy McPherson is the cub master assistant, and Ramona Zimmerman is the pack parade coordinator. And we salute the Boy Scouts of America and especially the Boy Scouts of the Wadsworth area. And did you know, Nancy, this is the 135th anniversary of excellence in education for Wadsworth City Schools. Our city schools are celebrating 135 years. Congratulations to Wadsworth City Schools for the 135 years of excellence. And there, oh, there's <laughs> Sandy Nito and Mr. Nito, uh, teachers from the high school. Lots of kids. A couple people in the back, I can see. Mr. Nito, a, pr a principal, a lot of students. And they'll be hearing a lot uh, about the 135th anniversary of excellence 
in our celebration this year as a year goes on they'll be a lot i know cesar carino is the director in charge of that well that's quite a milestone for our schools indeed coming up next on the parade route is michael kovac mike is our medina county auditor he is a wadsworth resident and winner of numerous state and national awards he has proudly served medina county for 12 years we call to the Naval Reserves after September 11, 2001. Yeah, and you better get over here and give and me some. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Mike. <laughs> and Mike, of course, was helping to do the uh, uh, the moderating narration last year of the parade, and we thank him. And it's good to see Mike. Again. Yes, indeed. Grace Lutheran Church is next. It's their 120th anniversary. The jungle theme is for the vacation. Vacation Bible School, which runs from July 17th to July 22nd. Oh, that's a beautiful float. Oh, that's a great A lot float. of work went into that float. Absolutely beautiful. A lot of work. Nice job. Students should be proud and, and their advisors proud of that float. Well, we have a few goodies here. You, <laughs> they can see what our I, table looks I, like. The, the <laughs> viewers can't see this, but I have my son behind me saying, "Mom, are you going to share any of that with me?" <laughs> well, Kovac <laughs> gave us this is smart. He gave us popsicles, or at least I got a popsicle. <laughs> oh, there's a there they the are. Shot. That's my youngest son, Dustin, and my husband, Dave, caught as usual enjoying any food to be found. Well, we're getting a lot of cheers for who's coming up next. I think some exciting stuff is coming up later on down the parade route, and you're going to see why in just a few minutes because these folks are big in Wadsworth, and that is our Wadsworth Amateur Soccer Association. It's been in existence for 16 years. It's a totally volunteer association with approximately 1,200 members. The association hosts the annual fall soccer tournament at Mule Park during Labor Day weekend, and it draws over 100 local and out-of-state recreation and travel teams for the competition. And they're kicking the soccer ball as they go down as the road. As we speak, yes, thanks to Wadsworth Business and individual sponsors. And soccer is big in Wadsworth. As you said, youth sports are wonderful opportunities for kids in Wadsworth and keeps them busy, teaches them great skills. Here comes Jazzercise. It blends aerobics, yoga, pilates, and kickboxing movements into fun dance routines set to fresh new music. All fitness levels welcome. Wadsworth classes are held at the Wadsworth Fitness Zone next to Bueller's. Junior Jazzercise also available. Instructors are A.J. Neely, Beth Stein, Colleen Herndon. These folks do have a lot of energy, Joe. And we'll see why in just a minute. Here they are <laughs> doing their thing. Bright pink shirts. That is pink. That is pink. <laughs> pink and black. And they are doing a routine all the way down the parade route. Well, they're having a great deal of fun doing it, too. Well, that's a great way to stay in shape. Might as well have fun and stay in shape at the same time. The one thing I've noticed a little different with this parade than past is a lot more activity going on from the people on the parade route, meaning like the jazzercise. I think that's very active. I think that really gets everybody into it. It's very entertaining, that's for sure. And there are different age groups, too, in this group, too. Young and young at heart. <laughs> young and young at heart. I like that. Nice job, ladies. I think they're all ladies. Well, a couple of fellas. Oh, there's a guy in the back. A couple guys. <laughs> Actually, I think those folks may very well be from. Are they? Would our, you say? I think they're from our next entry, and that's the Uptown Deli. I think somehow the Uptown Deli just decided to mingle in with the ladies from Jazzercise. But they're pretty good. I, I, I give them credit. They get a they shot are. of them dancing. 
Yes, they are. And they're eating at the same time. They're doing it all. That's they're chewing, great. They're eating, and <laughs> jazzercising. There you go. And the Uptown Deli is Wadsworth's newest deli sensation. They have Reuben's deli sandwiches and great soups. Don't miss the food and the fun. Be sure to check them out. And the name may have changed, but the quality remains. Here is the Howard Hanna Smythe Kramer Real Estate Service Float. This is their sixth largest, uh, the, excuse me, this is the sixth largest full service real estate organization in the United States. Stop in at the Great Oaks Plaza for all your real estate needs, buying or selling a home, looking for a mortgage or refinancing your current home, reviewing your insurance coverage and rates, and also title and escrow services. The Howard Hanna, Smythe, and Kramer Real Estate. I say Smythe. Smith. Smythe Kramer. Uh, I think you Smith, got it yeah. right. And it's quite a float as we see it popping up here before us, Joe. There was some good amount of work that went into creating this beautiful float. Complete with the horses drawing the carriage and the gals getting ready to... Nice job, ladies. A beautiful float. And you can hear the next float coming. Yes, you can. You can hear them coming before you actually see them. Right behind Smythe Kramer are the Rolling Thunder Ohio Motorcycle Club. They're actually not a motorcycle club, but a prisoners of war missing in action organization. They visit vets in the Wade Park and Brecksville hospitals and let our vets know that they are not forgotten no matter what war they served in. Those are some beautiful bikes. Yes, indeed, and a great service as well. To not forget the fellas and women that Sir. served. POW and MIAs. The Rolling Thunder, Inc. That's a big van, that's a beautiful van with the uh, prisoner of war and missing in action emblems on the side. They're never forgotten, Joe. One of the things always made Wadsworth a little different community is Sky Park. Sky Park Airport is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. It's one of the few areas where you actually have planes in the houses, in the garage. Yes, Not the house, but in the garage. And right behind them is the Southside Christian Fellowship, the new church that meets every Sunday morning at 1030 at the New Franklin Elementary School. Stop in and visit them. And coming up in the big John Deere is the Boyer greenhouse and farm welcome they're welcome in our next next in the parade and they are from the foyer greenhouse beautiful float oh my what a splendorous array of colors i wish my backyard looked that good joe goodness <laughs> well <laughs> my backyard is all <laughs> trees <laughs> colors and the flowers are absolutely beautiful. And coming up right behind is JB Home Improvement, and I hope I'm going to say this correctly, a Koshin Academy of Martial Arts. Home improvements are done by owner Josh Brandyberry. No middleman costs. They have been in business for 15 years. Best in quality, best in prices, free estimates. The Academy of Martial Arts specializes in traditional and mixed training. See them at the Blue Tip Festival tent for demonstrations. They have four certified black belts and adult and children's classes are offered. And next is Buellings, a third generation family owned company has been proudly serving the Wadsworth community for almost 30 years. Its involvement in the community goes well beyond just selling groceries as they are active in local organizations such as the Salvation Army, the United Way, Main Street, Wadsworth, and the Chamber of Commerce. They look forward to many 
many more years of success. Bueller's. A great place to shop. Definitely. <laughs> We have a lot of great options in Wadsworth, and Bueller's has been one that's been around for a long and it, time. And also being a family-oriented and very family-owned uh, company like Bueller's is very good for Wadsworth. Yes. And one of the few places you can actually drive up and have them put the groceries in your trunk. Okay. I've never known that. Until Nothing I like that here. customer service. No. They're tops in my book. Next up, Wadsworth Women yeah. in Business. They are linked together to better our business. The group was established in 2004 and consists of the Medio Blossom Shop, Maryland's House of Ceramics, Heart and Hand Massage, Junk Teaks, Perfect Picture, South Beach Tan, Stonier's Jewelry and Gifts, and they hold monthly drawings at these stores and have special events in October. Here they come. Just a tactical unit from Wadsworth. Police. That's quite a truck. Well, it's always comforting knowing that these great vehicles can be dispatched for us anytime we need it. I'm, I'm always amazed by that when I sit and watch all of these great trucks pass us by. And you've got a growing fire department here in Wadsworth. And a very successful one, and one that we should be very, very proud of. Absolutely. Engine number three from Wadsworth Fire Department. A lot of happy faces. Certainly ready to serve the community. And a big ladder truck coming up. Beautiful trucks. Beautiful. It's truck number two. Thanks, fellas, for your service. A lot of training, a lot of hard work goes into building a, a fire department this, this good, this large. Definitely. And our friends from Apple Creek coming up, East Union Township 101. These are some beautiful trucks. Yes, indeed. Fit shined and polished Definitely. down to, from top to bottom. From Bath, here's truck. 1215 from the Bath Fire Department. It's from great to department. see all the neighboring <laughs> communities get Definitely. involved, isn't it, Joe? And sometimes they, they have to support one another and, yes. and get involved. Great they camera do. work, by the way, by John Matting, our cameraman. And if all of a sudden the camera gets crushed, it's been really <laughs> good camera work. I look close up. Here comes from Rittman, a yellow fire truck. Yes. Breaking away from the traditional red, but they are snappy looking trucks. Big engine 52 coming up. From the city of Whitman. And another ladder truck coming up from the city of Whitman. Big ladder truck. And often these trucks, these different departments have to come to the aid of surrounding departments when there's a terrible catastrophe of fire. Here's the Rittman EMS. Whit Rittman well represented in the blue tip parade this year, as always. Orville, Orville Heavy Rescue, number 63. They have a great seat on top of 
Oh, <laughs> too high. That's a great place <laughs> to ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it's them and not me. That's the best seat in the house right there. There's a little girl can't be more than two. <laughs> there she it's is. Yeah. Howdy. And we have Lafayette Township Fire Department coming up, and they have something called the Surrey Fire Safety House. This is interesting, Joe. First time I've seen this one. Is it because of smoke coming out of the I top of so. it? I think so. Well, it's probably used as demonstrations and probably as a, a learning aid for, for different people, or maybe for kids and also probably for training. Lafayette it's Township. It's part of the Fire Prevention Bureau Education Division, the Lafayette Fire Department, supporting fire prevention <laughs> through education. That's a really neat flow. That's that is. Some smoke coming out the windows. Yes, indeed. Here comes the Lafayette Township Fire Department truck rescue. And right behind, we have Guilford Township and Seville represented. Another fine looking truck. Now, I can remember when trucks were just like, you know, three or four people can fit into them. These are like Mack trucks, beautiful. The Chippewa Township, North okay, Fire Department, down. Fire Rescue. Everything's enclosed now, which yes. is kind of interesting. Yes, that's, that is interesting. And coming right up from behind, I have to announce this one, Joe, because this is my hometown, the Copley Township Fire Department. Yay, Copley! Well, I don't know. I live there right now. <laughs> Hopefully my <laughs> house isn't on fire and they're here. <laughs> well, I can tell you, the folks behind will be taking good care of you. Copley Township, great community. It's been a lot of great years there. Beautiful truck. Yes, indeed. Here comes the Covington Fire Department. Now that looks like an old stretch. That's an antique. It's yeah. not one we one we have on here coming up. Listen to that old bell, but that is an antique. Probably, I want to say, early 50s, 40s. With the old-fashioned wooden ladders on the side the siren, and the yeah. hand-rung bell. Those firemen really had to work back in the day, didn't they? Now from Sharon Township, here comes uh, another beautiful fire truck. And their representatives are throwing candy <laughs> alongside. Always a popular thing <laughs> to do at the Blue Tip Parade. Well, we have to notice, too, Joe, that we are in the quiet zone, are we not? Which is an interesting place to be. No sirens blaring. That's true. In our spot. Is it because we're right next to the library? <laughs> no. I don't know if that has anything no. to do with it, but there is a designated quiet route. For those of you that don't like the noise in the parade, you can come on down close mm -hmm. to the square. I, I think the quiet zone starts up by um, Sacred Heart Church a little further oh yes, east a up point. the parade route and if you haven't been to the blue tip for a while you might want to check out that section because it's nice and quiet in this area and some of us do like the sirens though for those that like the excitement go either east or west and well, with all these fire trucks, if they started doing the sirens <laughs> <laughs> and all these kids, <laughs> you'd have a lot more noise than one would expect. It's pretty noisy, that's for sure. Once again, just looking around from the crowd here, we got a lot of people here where we're sitting and a lot of young people, which is terrific, and, and we're really happy. Indeed, we do. Looks like we're moving a truck out of the way, the good old-fashioned way. It's getting a good push, yeah. Joe. <laughs> Yay, the, the crowd's ones. giving yeah, the helpers a hand. And right behind it is a heavy rescue truck <laughs> with an interesting <laughs> light on the front. That's the first. I haven't seen one quite like that. 
And that's from Medina Township. Snazzy looking truck. Our friends from Medina. Rescue one. <laughs> from Bristol, engine number two. It's an older truck. It's a convertible, Joe. That's neat. That's interesting. <laughs> it is a convertible, isn't it? And Nancy, here comes another convertible. And another convertible. This looks like an Oldster as well. This is one of our Wadsworth engines. I wonder if that's still in service. I don't think, I don't know. I don't think so, but it certainly is loaded. It's held it's up very well. On. It might be. We'll have to ask Chief Copley about that. From Valley City, <laughs> Liverpool Township, Fire Department. Their EMS vehicle. And more from the Liver Liverpool Fire Department. We had a little breakdown uh, with the fire truck, and it was interesting how quickly they got it off the street, removed it, and the, the parade just continued yes straight Yes, it on, did. We know. don't skip a beat here no. at the Blue Tip. Medina County Hazardous Material Response Team. Very important community service these folks provide. Homeland Security. Yes, very important. They're ever ready and prepared to keep us safe should we need it. Here comes an old antique fire truck mm -hmm. coming up. It's a beauty. This is a beautiful truck. From Medina. Old time engine number three. Could be from the 30s, 40s, 30s. It looks about late that. Late 30s, yeah. Boy, they got that thing shining. That's beautiful. beautiful. Truck. Just beautiful. And yeah. from the city of Medina comes a newer truck. Yes, indeed, the newer version. In bright yellow. And in the window, you get a shot. Oh, I hope we see him. There's our friend. I thought Dalmatians were supposed to ride in fire uh, trucks. That's Joe. not a Dalmation. That's definitely <laughs> a not a Dalmatian. Yeah, beautiful dog. In Medina, they use bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> And here's Children's Hospital Medical Center of Akron. Their mobile intensive care unit. Lots of important work done there. We have some antique cars coming yes, up. We do. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm. Now, I don't know my cars that well. That's a Studebaker, isn't it? A 1931. 1931. Beautiful car. This is the Ohio Regional Studebaker Club. Adam Shapiro of Channel 5 News is with the group this year. There is a beautiful Studebaker. Yes, indeed. Green flames on the side. Very distinctive <laughs> style. Yes. You know Studebaker. You if you've seen one, you know, well, not all of them, but they have that distinctive front. Yes, they do. And this is a Studebaker Lark, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, coming yes. up the white one from the 60s. That's a sporty <laughs> vehicle. Well, that's the Avante, which was way ahead of its time, uh, late 1960s, early 1970s. Uh, one of the last concept cars from the uh, Studebaker company. And... Um, Beautiful car. It's yes, got almost indeed. a little bit of a Jaguar look to it. It does. Jaguar mixed with a Corvette almost. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Beautiful cars. Well, 
Well, I always enjoy seeing the old cars. They're dream cars for so many people. Oh. That put endless hours into restoring them. And money. And, <laughs> and endless hours money. and money. Yes, indeed, both are necessary. It is a lot of fun. Here comes the, coming right up the street next. Mm -hmm. Pinnacle Gymnastics. They have been proudly serving this area since 1998. With many state and regional championships, Pinnacle serves everyone from the littlest 18 month old to the 18 year old gymnast, cheerleader and tumbler. And they're going to show us a little bit of their stuff, Joe, uh -huh. I think. There they go. Boy, a lot of tumbling. They're yes, very indeed. Good. And they're very young. They are very young. And it can't be easy doing it on this street. Oh, it can't be. <laughs> Look at them. Very proud, waving, very good. Wow. That's impressive. I believe that was a round off. That was perfectly executed. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe we have some future Olympic gymnasts in our midst. I know I can't do any of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can watch. Whoa, whoa. Beautiful job. Very good. And to be able to do that on the street. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Whoa. And in tandem, a perfect match. Pinnacle. It was a lot of fun. And coming up behind them, this is the Abbey Dance Theater. These dancers have been national title holders for 15 consecutive years. They're holding summer camps for ages three through the teens. This is another excellent way to stay in shape. Put it to a little bit of music and move. <laughs> We've got a few that are riding along. Maybe they're tuckered out. Because these gals are moving. What would you say, Nancy, is the age group here? They are three, age three, through the teen years. And that's the Abbey Dance Center. And this is a smart group because they've brought a trailer with some chairs just in case. <laughs> that way there's an opportunity for a few minutes of rest. What a great idea. Well, even though it's summer, we have to remember to heat our homes. And here's hardy outdoor furnaces. Uh, heat your home with wood, but keep the mess outside. And here comes a walking <laughs> furnace. <laughs> you ever hear the Tin Man? This is a walking furnace. Is he shy? No, there he is. No, he's he's not shy. Uh, he probably and made the costume. <laughs> <laughs> and right up behind is the antique warehouse. We have Shane Ruffner, 19-year-old owner of the antique warehouse. He opened a large retail store three years ago when he was only 16 years old. And the little VW is, if I'm not mistaken, it's from the first free checking, now free magnets, Charter One. Bank Happy, Charter One. And here come the Chaparral's Drum and Baton Corps. Here from Akron, let's enjoy the marching unit and drill team for a couple of minutes.
Can you tell me the song? Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Part of one at any rate. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses? I think it was. Joe, you have a good ear. I didn't catch that. Well. <laughs> well, they looked good and they sounded good. And here comes Hoppy the Chicken from Wadsworth White House Chicken, located at 199 Great Oaks Trail, home of the legendary Barberton Chicken. I'll say it is. That's some great chicken. And they're new to Wadsworth, are they not? Relatively new to Wadsworth, yes. And coming up, we have Ann Schutz Furniture Sales and Moving. Ann Schutz with Steve and his crew are proud to serve Wadsworth for over 20 years. Born and raised in Wadsworth and very supportive of the area's groups such as the Lions Club, Chamber of Commerce, and they sponsor numerous ball teams. Thanks, Ann Schutz. I wish our camera could get a shot at that Charlie We have Ackerman Charlie in the middle of the street candy, picking up candy. Picking up <laughs> the candy. I think he's getting chastised by someone out there, too. Uh, no, I think he's doing it because he wants the candy. <laughs> I, I, I don't think he cares, Joe. Oh, he there just he threw goes. it to he's the kids. It to the kids. That was nice. <laughs> you, you notice he didn't throw any of the announcers way. I, I don't know what's up with that. We're getting a shot of some candy. <laughs> <laughs> our one token piece Very of candy good. from our cameraman, John. Thanks, John. It's a piece of bubble gum. <laughs> Next is Ideal Graphics. Ideal Graphics is a company who understands of image masters. Ideal has been helping businesses and organizations in Wadsworth with their promotions for seven years. They design custom art and logos. Ideal is both a design and a production facility. Think of Ideal Graphics anytime you need custom graphics, a website, printed materials, or outstanding signs. And Ideal has quite a snazzy looking van. Mm -hmm. Beautiful colors. Lots of purple. Design, printing, and signs. They do it all at Ideal. And coming up, the Galaxy Restaurant and Banquet Center. The restaurant's located at the intersection of I-76 and Route 94 in beautiful Wadsworth. And it's an out of this world experience. That's really interesting. <laughs> yes, indeed. Visit fine dining in the sports bar and exquisite cuisine prepared by their award-winning chefs. I thought he graduated last year. <laughs> <laughs> he, might have, he might have had him in school. Yeah. He was pretty good. But do visit the Galaxy. Great food. Coming up next is Cutler GMAC Real Estate. Service you deserve from people you trust with over 20 professionals ready to service your home selling and buying needs. You can experience service that others have rated 96% Customer satisfaction. Call today. That's Cutler. Nice job on the float. There's a house waving. <laughs> and coming up, one of my favorite places in town, Katie's Corner Ice Cream. You're getting all the food. I know. <laughs> Homemade ice cream, 60 flavors of fun. Specialties including ice cream pies, ice cream cakes, two topping ice cream pizza. Yum. And they're open seven days a week until 10 o'clock. And now comes the B&L Motorcycle Sales and Service, International Motorcycle Racing Team, uh, Racing Flat, tra uh, Track Racing, and Pike Peak Hill Climb. Well, you need a bike like that to make it up Pike's Peak. <laughs> I wouldn't want to walk up it. <laughs> That was Gerbricks on the uh, on the bikes, right? Well, they looked like they were having a ball. Yeah. And coming up next is the Medina Indian Guides. We welcome them to the Blue Tip Parade this year. Mohican, Thompson es excavating, and lots of candy to boot.
Here comes Tom Carell, 1971 M561 is an all-terrain cargo carrier. It operates in two or six wheel drive and is amphibious. It was used in the military from 1970 to 1988. Amphibious, you say? Amphibious. That means it goes in the water too. Yes, <laughs> it's <laughs> like an amphibian, <laughs> thus amphibious. <Yeah. laughs> Next up is the Dunright Custom Carpet Cleaning, owned and operated by Jeff and Vicki Dunn. They specialize in carpet, upholstery, tile, and grout cleaning. You can look for their ads in the trading post. Make sure the job's done right. That's clever. Very clever. Great <laughs> advertising. There's old go-karts. They look like they're electric. They do. Those are interesting. Those are sporty. Here comes Rittman's Pharmacy, Rittman Nat Natural Health Pharmacy, your local pharmacy for over 55 years. Fast, friendly, and focused on your health. We want to be your pharmacy. Come see the difference. Boy, I recognize a lot of these people yes, who graduated indeed. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> And coming up is the Medina County Dog Warden. The Medina County Dog Warden truck is driven today by Assistant Dog Warden Vicki Shaw. They provide a great service in the county rescuing our creatures if they get lost or loose. It's been quite a parade so far, Joe. Had a lot of candy come our way. <laughs> Charlie just gave us some, I think, has been run over. I think. Charlie's giving <laughs> us the discards. I think whatever Charlie doesn't want's ending up at our table. <laughs> Here comes the Academy of Young Minds. The Academy of Young Minds now has two locations in Wadsworth and provides child care to children ages 6 weeks to 12 years. Please contact Lindsley Brones at the North Center or Chris Redmond at the South Center next to Wadsworth Ritman Hospital. The Academy of Young Minds. Well, we have coming up just down the way a candidate. We have Glenna Roberts for judge. Glenna Roberts is candidate for the Wadsworth Municipal Court judge. With Glenna are her husband Dave and children Alex and Danny. Glenna resides in Seville and her family attends Sacred Heart Parish right here in Wadsworth. Next is the First Christian Church Vacation Bible School. First Christian Church is in the center or on the corner of High Street and Boyer Street. There are 12 children's Sunday school classes, 14 adult Sunday school classes, youth and adult choirs, contemporary worship Sunday at 8.30 a.m. and traditional worship at 10 a.m. during the summer. With numerous activities and ministries for all ages, First Christian Church is a place you can call home. They've got a lot going on there. Mm -hmm. Something to keep everyone busy this summer, I should say. <laughs> a latecomer running yes. down the street. <laughs> I think a person trying to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> we have up next the Tumblebees Gymnastics. They offer classes from 15 months to 18 years of age for both boys and girls. Parent and top, preschool, kindergarten, beginning through advanced, and cheerleading, including beginning 
intermediate, and advanced competition squads. They are the Tumblebees Gymnastics. What did you say, the age group? They're all very young. Oh, they start from 15 months to 18 years of age. 15 months, that's pretty young to tumble. Well, <laughs> <laughs> some of that might come naturally. <laughs> they might not even know it's tumbling. I think my boys probably tumbled at 15 months. Uh. <laughs> I've heard a lot of parents say, if your child is very, very active at a young age, enroll them in gymnastics. It's one of the greatest places oh, to I'm burn sure off some of that energy. A nice split by our young lady. And some of these students I recognize as gymnasts from our own high school, from Wadsworth. Sure. We can go on to continue to compete even at the high school level and some of them beyond. A great sport, gymnastics. <laughs> Charlie was saying he didn't think the kids could make it all the way through. I, I think they can. I know Charlie couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I know I could. And here comes the Titan Twirlers. Here are the ti Titan Twirlers from Worcester, Ohio. Each girl is from the Triway School District with ages ranging from kindergarten through ninth grade. There are 35 twirlers under the direction of Michelle. Uh, I'm going to try it. Uh, you have Caprero and Tina Anderson. Sit back and enjoy the performance to the song Car Wash. I like the bubbles. more Titan Twirlers. From kindergarten to ninth grade. And I can tell that these are not the ninth graders. I don't think so. <laughs> these look more like the kindergartners. Yeah. They're good twirlers. They are in snappy outfits. Mm -hmm. And we can't get the, forget the parents helping out. Well, this has been perfect weather so far. It doesn't seem like it's going to any problems at all. Nice, nice temperature, not real hot. Absolutely. Nice breeze. Absolutely perfect for a parade. We couldn't have asked for a better day. And you see more activities, I think, from from a lot of the uh, people participating in the parade itself. Sure. A lot more dancing, a lot more movement. They and feel I think better. that helps. Yeah, helps liven up the parade too. They feel ways. better when it's nice. Up and coming, we have the Kinder Care Learning Center. Kinder Care is located at 135 Smoke Rise Drive, and they've been in the Wadsworth community for 20 years. Kinder Care offers programs for children ages 6 weeks to 12 years, and they are open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can just stop in or call for more information. It's a nice bus. And a great bus. I wish I could get a look down the street of how many people are here because it looks like a really big crowd. I think we ha might have a record-setting crowd this time, mm -hmm. Joe. What did Charlie just say? Charlie just said that young man looked like him when he was running yeah. and when he mm -hmm. ran when he was younger. You have to tell me what he says because I've learned not to pay attention Are too you much to Charlie. Charlie out? <laughs> <laughs> not a good habit, but... He, he's sitting right in front of. We're Joe talking and about I. Charlie Ackerman for those of you who have no idea. From the Sun Banner. Yeah, from the Sun Banner, and a fixture in Wadsworth yes, for indeed. many years. Yes, indeed. John, there's a good, good shot. Yeah, yeah great shot of the shot. parade route from our cameraman. And we want to thank John Matting for all of his work. And here comes the Magic Cruiser Car Club, Ron Johnson. 
The driver in the El Camino is the original owner. Boy. It's a beautiful car. Yes, indeed. It is perfectly preserved. And a very proud owner as well. There There's he a good is. Close up. There he is, Ron Johnson. <laughs> In his beautiful El Camino. What have we got coming up next, Nancy? We have coming up the Medina County Sheriff's Office and the Medina County Sheriff's DARE program. Looks like we have a couple of dogs from the canine units. They're always a hit. They're officers trained to serve. Very well behaved, very well trained. Beautiful dogs. Yes, indeed. We have two cruisers joining the parade. Looks like more than two cruisers, maybe three cruisers and a truck. Fine work done by the Sheriff's Department. And there's the dare car coming up. Boy, a lot of people must take a lot of time polishing these cars yes, and trucks. Yes, they do. Up, which is making me feel really bad about my <laughs> car right now. Me too. And we know that um, DARE stands for DARE to Resist Drugs and Violence. I guess I didn't know that. I think it's changed over I the years. I think it has. Yeah. It's a cooperative effort by police, schools, parents, and the community to help kids make the right choices. Here's the Grizzly fast pitch. This looks like girls fast pitch softball. And they're sponsored by the Banner Printing Company, celebrating business in Wadsworth for over 40 years. Stop in for your full-color copies and offset printing needs. Business hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. Banner Printing Company. Once again, Nancy, you get the food. Yes, I know. I'm lucking <laughs> out with all the restaurants and I'm getting hungry. We have Arby's coming up. Wadsworth Arby's thanks you for your support this year. And they have a special going. Come in now and get two subs for $5 until June 30th. Well, there's the oven mitt. <laughs> Here comes the Wadsworth Lions Club. It has been serving our community since 1925. Our main focus is helping the sight impaired. Our motto is we serve. That's the Wadsworth Lions Club. And we thank them. They are certainly leaders of our community. Some familiar faces on the Wadsworth Lions Club boat. We have Bill Iron, Colin Cranston. And they're singing. Paul Gehring, and they're serenading us as they go by. Up next, we have Dean Holman. Dean's been the Medina County Prosecutor since 1989. His office handles more than 650 criminal felony indictments per year, and in addition handles the juvenile delinquency complaints. The County Prosecutor's Office works to protect the community by thoroughly and aggressively prosecuting those cases. His office also collects unpaid real estate taxes. And next is the Medina County Park District. Medina Park District is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. 
and they do over 3,700 acres of land development in 13 parks across our county. Residents can enjoy hiking, fishing, biking, picnicking, as well as educational and recreational programs throughout the year. And there's the Ranger car. Their newest park is Prince's Ledges Nature Preserve in Brunswick Hills. Thanks to our park volunteers for creating the park. And we want to remind our viewers to check out the Medina County Parks. We have great parks right in our own backyard. We should patronize them and check them out. And it's a great place to go and exercise, get fit and healthy while enjoying the great outdoors. And coming up, we have MSL Realty. And in honor of the Blue Tip Match Company, MSL Realty proudly presents the Matchstick Man, always a favorite at the parade. This is his third appearance in the parade. And be sure to remember MSL Realty when buying or selling your home for a service that can't be matched. It's clever. Very <laughs> clever. We've had some clever ad slogans tonight, You write Joe. these things. You, you do a good job. <laughs> There's the match, man. <laughs> He's He's, he may be having yeah. technical difficulties, the match man is. But we're going to get him fixed up here and on his way in just a second. <laughs> there, there he goes. He goes. There he goes. Oh, there he doesn't go. I think he has a wounded arm. I hope nobody goes up and tries to rub the top <laughs> so he catches on fire. <laughs> there he goes. There's the match there man. He made yes, it. There he is. That's interesting. Very, <laughs> very interesting puppet. Very and he's clever. happy. Yeah, very, very clever. clever. Very, very clever. And MSL Realty right behind him. And here's the people that brought us together, <laughs> brought us here. Here is the crew of the WCTV Wadsworth Community Television, creating better community through communications. Riding in the cart are John Bernard and Joe Gabrosik. Oh, and John. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, of course, with polka time. The golf cart, it's courtesy of Liberty Golf Cars in Brunswick. And there goes CVS. CVS Pharmacy, located at 204 High Street, is happy to be your neighborhood pharmacy. They have a full-service pharmacy located in the heart of Wadsworth. Friendly staff, Kathy, Beth, Karen, Sue, and Cameron, are happy to serve your pharmacy needs. Here's the First Assembly of God. Wadsworth First Assembly of God wants kids of all ages to know that it is fun to serve God. You are invited to join us on Sunday at 10 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Wadsworth First Assembly of God. Well, WCTV zipped by here so quickly, we didn't have really a chance to stop and give them the credit they're due for doing a great job putting together tonight's broadcast of your blue tip parade lots of work behind the scenes getting everything set up and ready to go oh it takes a lot of time i'm, I'm sure one thing we need to do too is thank our director chris woosman yes we right? do Did I pronounce that right chris woosman chris thanks and chris. john matting our cameraman but our direction is going very very well yes, thanks indeed. chris and up we have carolyn's cupboard here, Carolyn's Cupboard, they're located at 138 Main Street in Wadsworth. Stop in and check out the store. They have bulk foods, candies, teas, candles, gifts, ice cream, and even grizzly items for that special Wadsworth fan. And here's Gatliff Custom Builders. Wadsworth Medina County's premier custom home builders would like to invite you to visit their parade home located in Wadsworth that is going on now. Come and see why Gatliff Custom Builders is setting a new standard in custom home building. Visit our design showroom and offices located in downtown Wadsworth. What's coming up next, Nancy? Coming up next is John Sharkey for Council and Sharkey's Barbershop. The car is a 1931 Austin. 
John Charkey is our counsel at large running for Ward 3. And Charkey's Barbershop is located at 119 College Street in Wattsburg. There's the 31 Austin. Yes, no. there it is. <laughs> no, Harley. That's a cute car. That's uh -huh. a little vet. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the United Twirlers represent Western Stark County. This is our ninth year with girls from Maslin, Fairless, and Tusla schools. Our junior feature twirler is Melissa Wertheader, and juvenile feature is Morgan Wertheader. Uh, new this year is our prom, or excuse me, palm squad, the palm squad, and our fun music. Our color guard representing us are Jonathan Rowe, Jesse Bryant, and Scott Wolleder. A lot of smiles. They have a good time doing this. Nice job. And right behind them comes the Wadsworth Fantastics 4-H Club. The 4-H Club is full of children who are learning personal responsibility and community pride by doing individual projects as well as activities that benefit their community. 4-H is making the best better. There's a beautiful Cocker Spaniel. I, well, no, that's not a Cocker Spaniel. Springer Spaniel, maybe? I think you're yes. right. I know you're right, yes. Beautiful. Kids are having a great time. Next is Wadsworth Towing. Since 1997, <laughs> I have used them actually. <laughs> a triple A towing, recovery, and flatbed service, local and long distance, and we can help with lockouts. That's the Wadsworth Towing. And I got to tell you, when I watch these guys work with the flatbed, it's unbelievable. They're like surgeons. How they can move cars in, in very precarious situations uh, and the hard work that goes into it is really impressive. Well, you hope you never have to use them. Well, but I if have. you do, <laughs> if you do, it's good to know they're there. That's for sure. I think joining them was Holmes Brook Ace Hardware as well. Of course, Holmesbrook is located right downtown, downtown Wadsworth. They have a unique shopping experience right on the square. They have normal hardware items you'd expect to find, but also the hard to find items that you wouldn't expect to find. It's shopping with the hometown feel. Come visit them right downtown. <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> <laughs> Wadsworth Christian Preschool, basic beginnings now enrolling. Our church offers a fun-filled week for evening vacation, vacation Bible school designed for the entire family. The theme is Prayer Safari, which focuses on the Lord's Prayer. There is also a weekly preschool in session from September through May. Programs for third, fourth, and pre-K -children, pre children are offered. The days are filled with exciting activities to teach the children about God's Word worldwide, also preparing them for kindergarten. And here we are. Well, that's us. <laughs> that's us, Joe. <laughs> We're having a great time at the Blue Tip Parade this evening. Uh, we keep talking about how nice the weather is, <laughs> and now it's starting to get dark. Could be these sunglasses, too. Joe and I can't nice really see right now as no. we both have our shades on here. That's better. Now we can see what's going on. It was looking pretty dark there for a few mo <laughs> yeah. moments, Joe. I think it might have had something to do with the fact that we had our sunglasses on. Maybe that's why I'm <laughs> off the script so often. <laughs> Well, it's always a great parade. We know we can count on the Blue Tip it's Parade. It's very well organized. To be Once again, we have to say and, and, and really um, give credit to those who put the committees that, that come together and put this parade together. Uh, it can't be easy. And they do a tremendous job. Sure. And the parade, of course, is one part of the whole celebration. We've got all kinds of festivities going on at Memorial Park with the 
Carnival and all the great activities there. Lots to do, lots to learn about and come down after the parade and all this week and enjoy the activities. And up next, we have Wadsworth Veterinary Hospital. The Veterinary Hospital is owned and operated by Dr. Cynthia Ludic, Ludke. She is joined in the parade by staff members Diane Ahrens and Stacy Moser. The hospital is a full-service animal facility with boarding, specialized diets, dental services, and quality pet care. And right behind them, in a beautiful car, I think it's an old Oldsmobile, is Medina County Commissioner Pat Geisman who is riding through the parade, and I was wrong, a 1955 Buick convertible with original owner Bob Schaefer of Wadsworth. Pat is Medina County's first female commissioner, first elected in 1992, and was re-elected in her fourth term last year. Here comes a big truck. Yes, indeed. I believe this one is represented by Medina County Federal Credit Union. A big Ram 1500 with a Hemi. I think that means it's got a big engine. Is that right, <laughs> oh, transmission. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Tra <laughs> transmission <laughs> engine. I yeah, don't know. It's funny. big. <laughs> and the Federal Credit Union. Next is Sussman & Associates, a local county firm serving Wadsworth area since 1990. They provide the traditional CPA services including payroll pre preparation, trust and estate tax returns, and complete bookkeeping services. If you haven't met Vicki Sussman and her fine staff, stop in and see them at 125 West Boyer, just north of the square. And there goes our Wadsworth Community Band, providing musical growth and development, along with quality performance opportunities for the amateur wind and percussionists in Wadsworth and the surrounding community. Join That's them for their summer concerts on June 23rd and July 4th at 7. And some puppeteers. Uh, Wadsworth Public Library. Join the Wadsworth Public Library Summer Reading Club Adventure. Dragons, Dreams, and Daring Deeds. As you see with the hand puppets, stop into the bookmobile or the children's room to begin your summer fun. And right on their heels is Northside Christian Church. Northside is a non-denominational fellowship of believers who love God, love His Word, and love others. Northside Christian has just moved to its new 80,000 square feet facility at 7615 Ridge Road, north of Wadsworth on State Route 94. As they settle in, their theme is a place for you, for they believe God has blessed them with the room to have a place for you to join them. You are invited to join them Sunday at worship at 9 o'clock and 1030. Robin Hart is the senior pastor. And next is the River Sticks Market. It's your local racing merchandise and collectible shopping store. We carry a full line of NASCAR items. While you are shopping, you can also enjoy delicious hand-dipped ice cream cone. Oh, ice cream <laughs> is, served, <laughs> is served all year long, so stop and get a dip or two anytime. It's an interesting float. River Sticks Market. A great little stop on a truck to Medina. There's a little PT Cruiser. Very nice. And here we have Longfellow's Tavern. Longfellow's Restaurant has been operating in Wadsworth for over 30 years. It's a full-service restaurant and bar. And right behind them is M&M Towing and Recovery. It's located at Route 94 and 271 in Medina. The truck is driven by Bob Mulholland, who works with this unit every day. M&M is a towing and transportation company. Remember how you felt that day. And there's another picture of September the 11th. That's a beautiful truck. That is an excellent, really well done truck. The design and everything. The picture is really well, really <laughs> very, very detailed. Very beautiful. We'll never forget that day.
Good old girl blowing kisses. <laughs> She's having a good time. Uh, next up, we have Kimmel Heating and Air Conditioning. The owner is Mike Kimmel, and this is very fitting because Mike Kimmel is working on the air conditioning at the Senior Center right now. Well, actually not right now, but this week. Hi, Mike. Thanks for bringing air conditioning to the Senior Center. We needed it. And next is the Radio Communications of Ohio, located at 248 North Court Street, Medina, is your local dealer for your wireless needs. Stop and check all with great deals at Radio Communications, your authorized Nextel and Alltel representative and service center. Ponderosa Steakhouse, proudly serving Wadsworth community for over 15 years. Interesting horse. Yes, <laughs> and up next is Ohio Supply and Tool. They're a new Wadsworth business with masonry, landscape, and garden supplies. And a great big truck with lots of building supplies on it. I hope they're not throwing bricks. No, <laughs> actually, we could use some of those in our backyard. Yeah, I definitely. wouldn't mind if they throw a few our way. Next is a top-notch tile and flooring. Newest flooring outlet in Wadsworth, specializing in chromatic and porcelain tile, carpet, hardwood, laminate, and vinyl. Uh, all installation is done by the company with a three-year warranty on labor. And there in the black truck is Hapron Studios. Hapron Studios is located in Ritman. They're a photography, photography and video studio. And here comes Johnny's Vintage Motorcycles. Johnny's Vintage Motorcycles, Kawasaki, Kawasaki, excuse me, Kawasaki, uh, <laughs> Harley Davidson, and all your motorcycle needs. Stop in and visit us at 1280 High Street, Kawasaki. Great nice looking bikes. bikes. Yeah. <laughs> and next up is Trade and Play, going back past very quickly. Video games and more. And Burroughs Sign Works. They're located in Medina, soon to be moving to Wadsworth this summer. Burroughs Sign Works. And here comes Miracle Resource LLC. is a full-service marketing, public relations, and fundraising firm. The staff specializes in the counselation and implementation of revenue and development for corporations. Uh, fundraising campaigns for nonprofit organizations, media campaigns, sponsorship acquisitions, speaker bureaus, capital campaigns, special events, and major gifts, annual giving. And here comes our Wadsworth 13-year-old travel baseball team. A fine-looking group of young baseball players. With good and arms. With very good arms. Everybody duck. <laughs> 95 mile an hour bubble gum coming at us. Springtime carpet cleaners. If you can walk or sit on it, ch <laughs> chances are springtime <laughs> cleans it. We are celebrating serving the area for 10 years. Up next is WRQK Rock 107. They're celebrating 20 years, 27 years of rocking the airways. Northeast Ohio's home for Bob and Tom in the morning and the best rock all day long. That's Rock 107. That's why I never got in the radio. I knew what I would look like <laughs> on, the, on the side of the truck. <laughs> Caricature would not do me any good. <laughs> hey, in radio, that's a perfect profession. Oh, you you yeah. don't have to worry about how you look until yeah. you go out and do the public performances. And then you I had a professor worry. that told me I had to face for radio. Yes. <laughs> I think you have the face for oh, WGTV yeah, right. in the oh, blue tip parade. <laughs> <laughs> John's following oh. some of our parade goers here and <laughs> getting a few shots of kids going after the candy. Candy's always popular at the blue tip. I think the kids are waking Charlie up, though. I think so, too. There's a lot of negotiations going on for this, this these little bits of candy. And there's Charlie. There he is. Hey, Charlie, say hello to our <laughs> fans. <laughs> He's guarding us. He is. He's actually taking all the candy. He, he is. He's blocking us from the great candy. He's filtering back the stuff he doesn't like. Here we Here go. Here comes the Commercial Service Express. New business in Wadsworth. Started in April 2004. Brian Hill, owner, has lived in Wadsworth his whole life. We do commercial kitchen equipment and repair for all of Northeast Ohio. 
And there's some of their equipment right on the back of the flatbed there. Good looking stuff. And a happy parade goer. There, now we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up in the next couple of vehicles, I believe is the Wadsworth Republican Club. We have Wadsworth's own Sheriff Neil Hassinger and Medina County Commissioner Sharon Ray. They'll be walking with members of the Wadsworth Republican Club and various Wadsworth city officials and candidates. Great to see our elected officials walking the parade route, don't you think? <laughs> see them walking, <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's Sheriff Hassinger, our city prosecutor, Norman Bragg. Commissioner Sharon Ray. There's Sharon. She's from Wadsworth. Oh, I had her in class. <laughs> Did you? Yes, oh, you're dating many. yourself, Joe. Well, I've never dated myself, <laughs> but I've had a lot of students. <laughs> Start in 1973. So Good. anybody from then. Top Design LLC is a kitchen and bath design center. They have Merlite and Cardell cabinets and a variety of countertops. Stop in and see them at their booth at the Blue Tip Festival. And next up, the Tadmore Shrine. Here come the Shriners. These units are from Tadmore Shrine in Akron. They are one of 191 shrines in North America. The Shriners are noted for their bands Calliopes, colorful marching units, and most of all, their 19 crippled children's hospital and three burn institutes where all the care is free. Tadmore is currently sponsoring over 325 children. Treatment is free without regard to race or religion. And should you know of such a child, contract a Shriner and he'll put you into contact with the admissions committee. They do a wonderful service. Leading them is their ambassador's unit. I always remember them with their snazzy caps. And their motorcycles. And their motorcycles and those little those little motorcycles coming up, I'm sure. <laughs> they do an awful lot of work for communities and, and especially for children. Yes, they do. And it's free. So if you're in need, these are the folks to give out some help. These blue and white Harleys are from the Tadmore's Temple Guard. The three-wheelers are all antique police motorcycles from the 1950s. And what you hear coming up is a 1967 Ward La France fire engine. It's driven only for parades and occasional ride around the parking lot. The Troubadours have a unique 16-man bicycle they built over 15 years ago. That should be coming. Oh, here comes the crazy cops, too. Oh, we'll yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess they've been gone for a while, but now they're back, the crazy cops. Yep, the crazy cops you know, have been out of existence. Next on their red four-wheelers are the Tadmore's Gojo unit. That should be coming up right after the crazy cops. you got to be careful. They don't want to be arrested by these guys. They're crazy. <laughs> they're saying, who wants to go to jail? <laughs> <Yeah>. Volunteer. <laughs> I'll pass. And a lot of people are rightfully applauding as they go by because yes, of all the help they've given throughout the years. And that's to say a lot of all the service organizations throughout Wadsworth. Oh, absolutely. Here's the McCall's Auto Care, serving Wadsworth community for 23 years. Stop by the merchant's booth to sign up for a free Cooper tire and fr tires and free bicycle. Hey. Get those tires and that bike. That's a nice bike. Beautiful. You stop in at McCall's, you might win. You might be the lucky winner to win that bike. And coming down the way here, I believe we have Valley View Chapel. 
Everyone belongs somewhere. Valley View Chapel Ministries is for the community, including children, teens, and adults. They have a very festive Aloha theme going. That's Valley View Chapel. Get this Hawaiian thing going here. I yes. Think. And if you hear drums coming up the street, there's a reason. We'll get a shot in a moment here, but you can hear them coming up. I always look forward to their presence here at the Blue Tip. Here comes the Native American Indian and Veteran Center. Uh, it's a nonprofit social service agency serving the Native American community and veterans in the state of Ohio. That's the Native American Indian and Veteran Center. Great costumes. Yes. Very much into their customs, into traditions. And very patriotic, very proud to be Americans as well. They are the first Americans. Yes, they are. They, are they the were Americans. the original. And we have coming up in this sporty red car, AY's Framing. It's a Miami Vice. Car 1971 Daytona Ferrari Spider. A wise framing is a wise choice in custom picture framing. It's a beautiful car. That's a car. <laughs> I'm hearing people yell, "Nice car!" Nice car. Remember Miami Vice? The show yes. Miami Vice. That, that <laughs> I go way back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember that one too. I remember Dragnet. To come on. <laughs> I remember watching the original, <laughs> Dragon at the original. Not the remake. Oh. The original. I <laughs> think I was pretty young back oh, then. Oh, I wasn't. The cars sure have changed, have they not? They certainly have. Yes, they have. Well, we've seen some fine old vehicles and new vehicles. Oh, here comes some strangeness. I think I know this young man. This looks like Roger Polk doing a few interviews. Well, I'm afraid I do know him, but yes. uh, hopefully are, he'll are keep walking by. Are you not admitting <laughs> to knowing him? Well, there's only so much about paintball I know <laughs> I want to know. Exactly. <laughs> here comes the Medina County Democratic Women. Uh, they provide an avenue for women in Medina County to be a positive, visible force promotion, Democrat val democratic values, and affecting change throughout the political process. The Democratic women meet once a month. For more information, join to join MCDW. Email Medina County Democratic Women at hotmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Roger's recruiting people for paintball. Well, I'm glad to see he's at least got a new wardrobe. <laughs> he's changed his clothes. He looks much nicer. He is spunky, is he not? Spunky is not the <laughs> word I would have used. <laughs> Roger's asking the kids if they have any candy. <laughs> and coming up next, maybe if we're lucky it might hit Roger. No. <laughs> well, we here, hope here not. Comes Judge Mary <laughs> Kovac, the Domestic Relations Court. For Medina County. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mary. It's all in good fun. It's good to have people like Roger go around yes, and, and liven things up. Absolutely. And in keeping with the tropical theme, we have coming up another float from the O'Neill Group. The O'Neill Group, their promise is no hassle, no pressure. We are friendly people whose only job is to save you money and protect the people you love. Oh, and they're cooling us off with some water guns. Great idea. And here comes the Norton Lions Club. King Lion, Wilson Gray. Uh, Norton's Lions meet every second and fourth Tuesday at the Loyal Oak VFW Hall on Hudson Drive, the Loyal Oak Cider Festival is September 24th and 25th this year. That's a great thing to look forward to as fall approaches, the Norton Cider Festival. Right. It's a lot of fun. Been a lot of little festivals around this area. Yeah, we're lucky. We're lucky oh. to live in this community. 
part of Ohio with lots going on. I always say we need to remember to check out the things that are happening in our own backyard. Oh, we yeah, very, very well said. And we don't sometimes. We forget a lot of activities. It's just like in our school system. So much goes on, so many activities people can belong to. Yes, indeed. Take it of, taking advantage of what's happening in your community is always a good thing. And up next is Paramount Plumbing. Paramount Pl Plumbing Company has a van, and they are pulling their utility trailer with a lot of youngsters who look like they might be part of a baseball team. The Indians. <laughs> well, we know they can run. <laughs> yes, they can. We hope they go that fast on the field, in between bases, around the bases, I should say. And there goes Roger. This man should run for office, shouldn't he? <laughs> Oh, gosh, don't give him any ideas. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's running for office now. Yeah. The mayor of I don't know what. Oh, I don't want to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the Oasis limousine where your fun is our business. Call for special packages. We are located in Norton. It's Oasis limousine. You notice the tropical theme is very popular. Well, we had a bad winter. <laughs> we did. I think everyone's thinking nice weather and... We're going to get a shot here once Roger moves on of this terrific looking limo. Oh, it's a beautiful limo. Mm -hmm. And there are people walking by. That Everything was from graduation to marriage sure. to vacations. Oasis limo, you said, right? Right. For all your limo needs. And coming up is Wadsworth Quick Copy, celebrated its first year. We'll be in the merchant's tent, and we have many new services for all your printing needs. Stop into Quick Copy. And right behind her is Carrie Valentin, who is running for city council. Carrie will be on the ballot, ballot this November, running for the Ward 4 seat in Wadsworth City Council. Carrie's very active in the community, including participation in nonprofit organizations. She wants to take her love of the community to a new level by running for public office. And here comes the Valley View Towing. Uh, has been servicing Wadsworth for the past 43 years, towing large and small, also do automotive repairs, have, have been doing AAA automobile club servicing for over 35 years and most major auto clubs. And right behind them is Wadsworth Jolly Workers 4-H Club. They meet on the first and third Thursday of the month, January through July, when the Medina County Fair starts. They want people to know that 4-H is not just for farm kids. Their it's kids not. get involved in all kinds of things. Get information from the OSU Extension Office. And our next exit is Ridgewood. Ridgewood Baptist Church, you're invited to join the Ramblin' Road Trip this summer that will take you on an adventure-filled trip through Vacation Bible School, the second annual Family Fun Festival. So mark your calendar for June 11th through the 15th on Saturday, August 26th, and cruise on into Ridgewood. 